acting tip number 92. Here I am on my own again. I'm going to have to get over this sense of loneliness because I, I really enjoyed having Richard on, on my stool, my gold and blue stool. Um, but here I am anyway. So speaking of which with loneliness, I would like to talk, talk about depression and depression um, in, in, in the world of acting. Depression obviously is, a, is, a, is absolutely epidemic. A lot of people suffer from it. Um, as far as acting goes, we have to learn how to cope with and accept rejection constantly. Um, I, I have suffered from depression and uh, subsequently I'm devising a YouTube channel on how to get over depression, psychosis and bipolar completely drug free without drugs. Okay, no drugs. Um, and so I, I think this tip I'm going to devote to mental health. Now, if everything is vibration is what the new age say, is you can be on a high vibration when you're feeling really good about life. You may, you know, when we hear about we've got a job, our vibration immediately goes up. There may be things that you are suppressing that are happening in your life that are not so positive. And what that can do is it can contribute to a sense of depression or basically repressing our feelings and becoming a low vibration where you may have not got a job or even even sometimes when you have got jobs but um, acting jobs for example so keeping it industry related um, you just find yourself in a funk you just find yourself feeling why me poor me this always happens to me your thoughts have become very very negative and you're very down on yourself we hear a lot in a today's new age society about self-love but you don't feel self-loving at all you actually feel incredibly self-critical it's very hard when you're in a very low state of being or very low vibration to become motivated and uplifted and go to the gym and go out for those walks you may feel momentarily better walking in the sunshine but I remember when I was very depressed even that was very hard because I had paranoia and I thought everybody was looking at me and thinking all these things because I also had sleeplessness which um, contributes to this it's a massive subject I can't encapsulate it all in one tiny tip like this it will be a channel for those of you that are interested in how to improve your mental health. For the depressed person or for somebody who is very highly sensitive, who suffers from mental health issues, the answer has to be a discipline. It's a discipline of way of eating. It's a discipline, a way of behaving, getting up in the morning, the things that we actually physically do. And it's a discipline of the way of thinking. And when you employ these particular disciplines, you can only increase your vibration. You can only go up in vibration. So you can only become more and more inspired and start to create your life again from scratch. I have been to the darkest, deepest, most desperate place. I've even been to a mental institution for three weeks where I was convinced that crazy things were happening because I was suffering very much from sleeplessness. So I've met a lot of other people that have had these problems too. And it's something which obviously isn't talked about, but once you find yourself again, once you find your inner power once more, and once you employ a lot of different techniques which helps you align to the higher power, what they were called the higher power in the 12 step program for, um, for addicts, for getting over alcohol addiction, for example, is kind of what I mean. There is a higher power. There is, we need to connect literally to the source of your spiritual being, the source of, of the vibration of who you are. And that all sounds very much easier said than done. But in the, um, in the YouTube channel that I'm going to create, it's going to be a systematic approach to how do I do that? So for example, everything that we eat and everything, every, I've still got a lot of work to do on my digestion and I'm already doing it now, but 
the digestion or stomach brain actually produces the majority of the serotonin that we think is produced in the brain and that's called the happy the happy hormone um, and so changing the diet and getting the gut flora and fauna correct in the diet is going to make a massive a massive uh, um, shift to your mental health um, so all this, especially for the artist who is usually very, very emotionally sensitive, the artist, the actor, the performer, the dancer, the singer, you know, we're all highly strung people. Um, and so there's a beautiful side to that. There's an amazing, inspiring side. We get the opportunity to inspire others like nobody maybe with a nine to five job or people with a nine to five job don't tend to have, have that opportunity so much. We're living on the seat of our pants, we're self-employed. One day will be a really great day, the next day may be full of challenges. Okay, I've just been given the six minutes. So this is obviously a, a, a subject which is very close to my heart. I'm very passionate about it. There's nothing I won't do to help somebody who's depressed. Okay, so I've decided to formalize that. So um, watch this space. See you soon for the next tip. And thank you very much for watching.